Hi guys and welcome to GP Academia. Computed tomography scan or CT scan is a combination of series of x-ray projections taken from different angles around the body. It uses computer processing to reconstruct cross-sectional images or slices of the anatomy. In this video lecture, I will discuss the source detector geometries, line integral, and CT number important in discussing CT reconstruction. Let's start. And this is the outline of this video lecture. Before the advent of CT scan, general radiography using X-ray has been used in acquiring medical images, such as the figure here. Projection X-ray systems are the most inexpensive and widespread medical imaging device, and image contrast is produced due to the difference in linear attenuation coefficient of the human body. For this case, uh, we have the linear attenuation for air, which is 0. For bone, we have 0.48. And for muscle, we have 0 0.180. These linear attenuation coefficients are mainly responsible in creating the contrast in our projection image. Let us consider a slab of, let's say, soft tissue with a thickness of T, T in terms of centimeter, then uh, the attenuation of the primary beam can be expressed using the Beer's formula. Your I0 here refers to the fluence entering the slab, so this one. Then we have I as a function of X, which is the fluence leaving the slab, so this one, or the attenuated uh, intensity. Then we have mu, which is the linear attenuation coefficient of our material. The equation here uh, governs the image intensity in projection imaging. And uh, Beer's law should strictly be integrated over all the photon energies in the X-ray spectrum. This is not generally implemented. It only describes the attenuation of the primary beam and not the intensity of the scattered radiation. We have the following problems when it comes to conventional radiography. First, uh, blood vessels and other soft tissue details such as the heart anatomy cannot be seen in a radiograph and uh, there is a loss therefore of depth uh, information because the 3D structure collapse onto a 2D film. So last, uh, the conventional radiography has this inability to spatially resolve structures along the x-ray direction and therefore we have a need for an imaging modality capable of sectional imaging. Computed tomography uh, is capable of acquiring images or section of the human body, which is called slices. In terms of the development or the geometry of the source and detector, uh, we have this one. So this is called the first generation scanner, uh, illustrated here uh, in the drawing at the right. So this is described by a two pencil shaped beams of x-ray. So this one, so let's say we have this x-ray source, then we have this uh, pencil beam. We have this single detector, then it translates before it rotates to another angle. Uh, this type of scanner, so we have longer scanning time, about tens of minutes, and this is used exclusively for brain. Next, we have the second generation. It has an expanded sector shape of x-ray beam described as a narrow fan beam as shown here. Uh, it has a multiple detectors corresponding to beams of x-rays and its motion is described by this. So translating, so it will translate first as it, as it scans the patient, then it will rotate to another angle. It has a shorter time for photographing compared to the first generation. Next we have the third generation as shown here in the drawing. We have the x-ray tube, we have the detector array, here's the patient, then the motion is mainly rotation. A wide range of fan beam of x-rays encompasses the entire object as shown, and thus it can scan continuously. Fan beam was enlarged to cover the whole field of view of about 50 centimeters. Uh, inclined to produce artificial rings, so that's the uh, disadvantage and it has a need of highly accurate and stable detectors. For this lecture, so this is the last uh, generation that I will present, so the fourth uh, generation. 
it has a rotating x-ray source shown and a continuous 360 degrees ring of detectors and uh, rotating only of the x-ray tube is observed thus it reduces the time for scanning and it has a stabilized composition the city's x-ray tube generates a short burst of x-rays that travels commonly in a fan beam geometry through a cross-section of the patient the detector of the city system measures the exit beam intensity described by this i sub d and this is uh, the intensity integrated along a given line as shown uh, between the source and the detector volume thus we have this expression of integrated x-ray intensity uh, we have here the x-ray spectrum expression then we have here the linear attenuation coefficient of the object we can simplify this by defining an effective energy instead of using an expression of the x-ray spectrum shown here and this has the same measured intensity from a monoenergetic source e bar let's say so this is our variable and in using the actual energy uh, or polyenergetic source therefore we can express this attenuated intensity i sub d as follows we have i naught so this is equal to i naught times this exponential expression uh, from zero negative uh, integral from zero to d of this attenuation coefficient now here's the thing uh, with ct if you know the measurement of i sub d so this one from the detector and you know the initial intensity i sub naught this one we will have this projection measurement g sub d shown and uh, this is equal to negative natural logarithm of i sub d over i naught and this is equal to this line integral with this we can see that the basic measurement of ct is a line integral of the linear attenuation coefficient at this effective energy this reference uh, intensity i sub naught is measured for all the detector elements during the calibration step of the machine uh, this is commonly called the air calibration done usually in the morning therefore we have a line integral a line integral is an integral where the function to be integrated is evaluated along a certain curve or path the data needed to reconstruct the image or transmission measurements through the patient so we need to know i sub d given that we also know the initial intensity i sub naught uh, during the air calibration the data needed to reconstruct the image or the transmission measurements uh, through the patient using the following assumptions so first uh, we have here a very na narrow pencil beam of x-rays second a monochromatic radiation with our assumption of the e bar the effective energy and no scattered radiation reaching the detectors the x-ray source is highly collimated and therefore uh, we have this probability density of photons that can be measured at the detector area which is described by Poisson statistics this is our measured quantity using our CT machine and we can uh, get the line integral using this measurements part of the CT reconstruction is a mathematical algorithm that converts the scan data we have the view and the rays here into a numerical or digital image this will generate an array of pixels and each pixel has a numerical value called the CT number each value is specific to the density of tissue in the corresponding pixel or voxel this is generated uh, this generated digital image is then stored in the computer system of our CT machine the CT number is defined as follows so this is equal to 1000 times mu the attenuation coefficient at that specific point of the material minus the linear attenuation coefficient of water over the linear attenuation coefficient of water it has a unit of Hounsfield units or HU one reason also of defining CT number is because CT scan machines with different x-ray tubes have different effective energies thus the linear attenuation coefficient of exactly the same object will be uh, different for each machines 
city number can be used to compare data from different machines with different effective energies. We have here the common values of city number for each material, for water, air, bone, and for contrast agent uh, used in imaging. In summary, we have the following. First, we have the loss of depth information, which is present in conventional radiography. Thus, we need a modality capable of sectional imaging, which is the computed tomography scan. Second, uh, it is common to describe the source detector configuration in CT as either first, second, third, or fourth generation. In other books, there are more generations uh, presented. This represents different approaches to the detector design. Third, the projection detected can approximate the line integral of the attenuation coefficient along the path of the X-ray. And last, the CT number is used to quantitatively describe the pixel of a CT image. And that's it for this lecture. Thank you. Hi! If you have learned something in this video and you like my content, please consider subscribing my YouTube channel, GP Academia. See you in the next video.